Hey, what's up everybody? BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. For my subscribers, long time no see. For my new uh, new viewers, yo, what's up? BMS Lou here. Uh, yeah, so you're looking at my 2016 Subaru WRX. It's been a while. I think it's been a few months at least since I've done a video on my car. Uh, not a whole lot's changed. Just kind of rehash a couple things, which is what I really think I did on my previous video. But, you know, updates are good, I guess. Um, so I live in Nebraska. I work in Iowa. I bought this car in 2000. I ordered it May, I believe, 2015. Picked it up 4th of July weekend, 2016. One of the first cars off, 2016 is off the, off the uh, assembly line, I think. You know, uh, I wrecked it a month later. I hit a deer, $8,000 in damage. Didn't have the car for a month. Uh, they fixed it. It's actually been good up to now. I haven't had any issues since then. Uh, yeah, so never to this date have modded under the hood. It's an automatic CVT. Uh, some CVT haters out there, it's all good. I, I, I respect that you don't like CVTs, but just do me a favor. Don't comment anything stupid on my channel or it's going to be deleted. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you can see I got some aftermarket wheels. These are my summer tires that actually came with the car. Uh, these are drag DR32s, I believe. Uh, I did a couple cute modded things out on the outside of the car. Stickers there. I got some tail light, uh, reverse tail light <clears throat> stickers on the on the back. I can show you that. Uh, so they're yellow. I got yellow on there. Um, car's been fun. There's definitely some things on this thing. Uh, again, I live in Nebraska. I work in the middle of Iowa. My office is like two hours away. Um, I put about, eh, honestly, every week I put at least 600 miles on this car for work. Had I known, so I got the job in December 2015. Had I known I was going to get that job, this wouldn't have been the car that I bought. Now, granted, it's fun to ride. It's fun to drive. Um, no, no big complaints, some issues here and there, um, but for the most part, it's definitely a fun car to drive. No, again, no big complaints, but this wouldn't be the car that I would buy to drive in the middle of Iowa on dirty, rocky roads every day and put on 600 miles a week. Um, but it's what I got. It's what I got to live with. And it is what it is. Some people hate that saying, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, actually, let me go ahead and hop in the car. This is actually the cleanest my car has looked probably since the fall. Um, since fall time, before snow came here in the area. Let's go ahead and get in. Internally, no mods. Uh, well, except I got some blue light, blue matte wipes that I put in just for a little bit of different, different look, different glow. Um, <clears throat> I still got the stock stereo, which honestly I hate. I do have the kicker speakers that I installed myself. You can see previous videos. Uh, I have those in all the doors that I put in. That's the only sound type of mod that I've done to the car. Nothing else really. I put an LED light up in here. Um, yeah, I got tent. You know, I got tents twenty percent all the way around on the car. Uh, okay, so here's my miles again. Two thousand sixteen Subaru WRX. Let me focus that in. I'm at forty-seven thousand eight hundred and twenty-six miles. So a lot of miles for two thousand sixteen, but <clears throat> you know, I gotta work and the job pays fairly decent so um fairly well so you know i could uh i actually planned on when i started the job going out and buying a uh a beater car for the job but i was already beating this car up for a few months and getting a couple dings here and there in the car so i figured if i'm beating it up now i just might as well keep beating it up enjoy the ride for the work and as soon as this job is done uh, it's the type of job where it could go on for another year. It could end. It could not end. I just don't know. But again, it pays well because I'm gone uh, a lot. I put a lot of miles on my car. And 
uh, it's just that type of job. So anyway, um, I used to have some yellow pinstripes here. I took those off. I used to have some stickers down here. I took those off. They're just kind of peeling off and all. Got some stickers here. This says Ultraman. Ultraman is a old 1960s Japanese TV show. You, some older folks may remember him. There was a robot type of guy who battled Godzilla. And there's been some newer Ultraman since then. Um, I'm an Ultraman fan, so I got that on there just for some fun. I got yellow pinstripe here. I got this that I custom made myself. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers, Pittsburgh sports fan. I thought it would be kind of fun to black these out, but I don't know how to do it, and I don't got time to do it, so I just never done it. Um, I got rock box mud, mud flaps on here. Certainly scratch them up a little bit, um, but for the most part, I like them. They're black. They're clean, I think. So, <clears throat> got those. I got the yellow tail lights here. And I got just another sticker back here representing my my sports team. So, um, fun car. That's kind of where I'm at now. Fun car. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm getting all these little yellow specks on the back of here. Darn, let's see if I... I gotta get my glasses on so I can see them. I'm pointing them out to you guys. Um, uh, let me find some good ones. Here we go. See these yellow specks here? Getting them all over the back, and I know it's from the dirt and everything kicking up. Is there a way I can get that off? I tried scrubbing them with like a wet pad. It's not coming off, so... And they're everywhere on the back of here. Everywhere. So, I don't know. I need to get that off just to feel better about it. Um, and bugs, freaking bugs like crazy on the front of my grill. But that's where I'm at. Just again, want to do a quick video. Update. I think I'm going to get a new GoPro. I'm actually recording this on my iPhone. But, um, might be getting a new GoPro here in the next few days. So you may see some GoPro videos coming up on here. Uh, and uh, maybe we'll try and do some more, more car vids. But, oh, one last thing. I can't really do it now while I'm working this job. Because I'm just going to put a ton of miles on the car. But, not 100% sure. But I'm leaning towards, very much leaning towards my next car being the, I don't know what year. But, Subaru Forester XT basically the same engine. I think it is the same engine. Uh, <clears throat> sat in one 2000, what the hell's out right now? 2018, I think I sat in, test drove, uh, or maybe 2017, 2017. Uh, very roomy. I'm a big guy, almost 6'6". Six, six. I'm 6'5", six, and three bills. Uh, very comfortable in the Forester XT. Uh, test drove it, rode nice. So I'm thinking that might be my next car. Not 100% sure. Uh, again, I do kind of wonder what it would be like to drive another car without the CVT. Um, but I am a Subaru guy, so Forester probably will be it, depending on what kind of crazy changes they make on the next one, 2018 or 19. But then again, if I'm still working this job and I got the, you know, I might as well just keep putting a ton of miles on this ride. So. That's kind of where I'm at. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, but yeah, any questions or comments would be great. Any CVT comments, you know, bashing, just keep those to yourself. It's all good. I, you know, no worries here. Um, don't worry about me and I won't worry about you. It's all good. But yeah, so you know, spring is here in America, so let's go enjoy it. Everybody be cool to each other. Let's enjoy each other's rides and... Uh, Everybody be casual, and I'll see you guys on the next video, alright? Everybody take care. Let me leave you guys with the Hitchhiking Ghosts. There's my boys right there. Alright, take care, guys. And gals. See ya.